Okay, so the Bill's first padded practice of the 2023 training camp has come to an end. There was a lot that happened, but of course, the biggest story from the day was Damar Hamlin hearing from him for the first time with pads on. Obviously, he had been practicing with his team, but things change a little bit when you put the pads on. So we heard from him. He had so many incredible things to say. You can watch that entire interview right now on WKBW.com. As for the things that actually happened on the field, I think this was a good day for the offense. There were a lot of big plays. There were a lot of dynamic plays. They're continuing to kind of stack good days. The offense started a little bit slow. They're kind of easing their way back into this, but Stefan Diggs continues to be the most impressive player here in Rochester for the Bills. I know everybody wanted to hear what he had to say about everything that happened off of the field at the beginning of camp. Well, since then, he has just lit up every practice he's played in, caught a big pass today, a bunch of really good intermediate stuff. So he and Josh Allen continue to look like they are really on the same page. Then we get to the first round pick, Dalton Kincaid, who has also had a very impressive start to training camp. Every day it feels like he is just kind of checking off more boxes and continuing to make a little bit of growth. It was nice to see him continue that, though, with the pads on. Things change for guys who make plays on offense. Once the pads come on, he did not take any steps back. That's a good sign. And Gabe Davis also really trending in the right direction. I think that's a good sign for the Bills. Last year, there were such high expectations for Gabe Davis. And then he got hurt in between week one and week two. And he never said that he was really the same after that. So I think that that's another good sign for the offense. As for the running back competition, I don't really think it's much of a competition. I think this is James Cook's job to lose. I do not ever think that he will be a feature every down back or anything like that just because the Bills don't have that type of offense. This is a passing offense. It will always be a passing offense with Josh Allen under center, but I do think the majority of the carries, the majority of the touches are going to go to James Cook, and he's a weapon in the passing game. They absolutely love that, especially as this offense is concerned. Go into the other side of the ball defensively. The rotations continue at linebacker at cornerback, at all of these spots where we're waiting to see who's going to win the job. At cornerback too, that's between Dane Jackson, Kyer Elam, Christian Benford. Those are the big guys that come to mind. It feels like right now, nobody has really kind of separated themselves. And then at linebacker, who's going to replace Tremaine Edmonds? The big names, Terrell Bernard, Tyrell Dodson, and actually Balin Spector, not somebody we've really spent a lot of time talking about leading up to camp. He's had a good start. Now, once again, it is just a start, so he's another name in that mix. Dorian Williams looks like he's going to play more of a backup role to Matt Milano as opposed to trying to compete, at least right now, for the starting job at middle linebacker. So that's kind of some just quick hits and takeaways from training camp. This is now day five. They have one more day of practice tomorrow. Then they're off on Wednesday, another day this week here in Rochester, and then they return to Orchard Park for the open practice that's on Friday night. So we're getting really, really close. We're less than two weeks away from a preseason game. Things are starting to ramp up, and that was pretty evident today as they put the pads on for the first time.